brothers and sisters, uh, welcome on the 24th of March 2022. Welcome to the new subscriber that joined just a couple of days ago. It's so great to have you join us. Um, we're one big family here in the BB Ed channel and we like to share with one another. I love your comments and just remember to click the like button if you feel you've appreciated the video. I know I often forget to do that um, because it does make a difference as to how many people see the video in the end. So I'm here today to share with you more information about the corruption in governments um, topic that the Lord introduced a couple of videos back. And I said there in that last video that I thought it would only be part one and that the Lord would share more and he absolutely has. So I want to update you. And this is also going to link in with the video that I do next, which the Lord has instructed me to do. It's taken me a while to do the research around it, but I will bring that shortly. So anyway, the reason I'm showing you a hook is I want to start this video about the corruption in governments um, with a word that the Lord gave me on the 10th of this month. And it's really exciting because it t speaks about prophecy of old coming to pass really soon. And these are the words the Lord gave me. We have almost come to the hook of mine and I knew that this was scripture and so I found it in Ezekiel and this is about Gog and Magog the time of the end the great battle um, and brothers and sisters um, I want you to understand that uh, Gog is the ruler of the land Magog which is part of Russia okay let's start now the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy, prophesy against him, and, they, and say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the prince of Rosh, Meshach and Tubal. I will turn you around and put Put hooks in your jaws and lead you out with all your army of horses and horsemen, splendidly clothed. So once again, this is a world leader, a um, giant country in terms of world leadership and um, power and nuclear power. Um, so the Lord is speaking to uh, the area of around Russia and they used to call it Rosh in days gone by and it God speaks of putting a hook in his jaw and um, in other words he is going to put the hook in and he will then be able to turn him around and interestingly when I received this vision uh, or this word sorry a few hours later I clicked on a, Cle a Kim Clements video now I don't usually um, watch Kim Clements because um, of the way that he uh, tends to bring his prophecies forth with dramatic music it all seems a bit souped up but perhaps I need to actually just be a little bit more open to the Lord because in this particular case I was absolutely amazed that this video was exactly about what the Lord had just spoken to me of hours before what Kim Clements said it was a prophecy spoken to Putin and it was from 2014 and this these are some of the words that Kim said he stated that he that God would put a hook in the nose or mouth of of um, Putin and that he would bridle him and thus be able to control him so I thought that was absolutely incredible and this is one thing said to me about governments and corrupt governments. So let's go on. Now just to put that in perspective, um, that was one day before the um, word that I shared with you about the corruption in parliaments. And uh, just for those that haven't seen that video, it was two videos ago. I encourage you to go and read it because that's essentially part one. Um, but just to quickly go over the word that I was given that day on the 11th of March was this. People are dying inside Parliament 
as they try to get the chief spots. Okay, so just going on from there now. Since then, I have been given a word and a vision of one of New Zealand's um, politicians. And I'm not going to say who it was, uh, but I have been told to watch that person. Um, and I believe that is also about corruption. Um, so brothers and sisters, at the time I shared that with you, I didn't know if the Lord was speaking of just um, where I am from, New Zealand, and our government, or whether it was governments around the world. But um, because of what I'm going to share next, I know that it's more than just my own country. It's other countries as well. And as I've spoken and just shared about Russia, I now have one to share with you about America. And initially you might find it a little bit confusing when I read these words as to what it actually means, but I have scriptures that the Lord has deliberately led me to so that it will help us to understand this. And the reason why I think it's America is that the Lord speaks of Congress. And um, I might be wrong, but I think most references to Congress are about the United States government. But um, forgive me if I, in my ignorance, there may be other um, world governments that uh, use that word. So, okay, let's go. The first sentence I heard was, Within the Congress, we have the big grains, and yes, you heard the word grains as in wheat, uh, we have the big grains making them begin to leave. Now I believe that when the Lord used the words them, he's speaking about other ministers in Parliament. So it's that, once again, it's that pressure to jostle and oust people within Parliament to get the high positions, um, almost setting up the uh, governance that they are wanting, possibly for these end of days and the new world order. But that's my thoughts. Okay, so just reading that again. Within the Congress, we have the big grains making them, the other members of Parliament, begin to leave. And this links directly to the first one, uh, video that I made just a week or so ago. It's exactly what the Lord told me was happening, that people were being corrupt and um, bullying and um, ousting others within Parliaments to get the high positions. Okay, now the next word the Lord said made me smile. And he often does this with how he chooses to explain himself. He said, God is awaiting hedge trimmers. In other words, he is going to do some pruning and take action over this. And let's go to the scriptures so you have a better understanding. Because I know, to me, it makes sense because... I have had the previous words and visions and I know the scriptures. So let's go to some scriptures and Joel, the Lord told me to use Joel for this video and the next one in which I will share some really important things. So let's go to Joel, it won't take long. So this is Joel chapter 3 and I'm going to read just a few verses beforehand so that you get the context and just to help you understand too that in Joel 2, we, he had just been speaking about the day of the Lord and pouring out his spirit on people, sons and daughters of the Lord. Um, yeah, so we are talking about the end of days. Okay, so just starting at verse 9, and I'll stop and pause when we get to the key verse. But verse 9, make this announcement among the nations, prepare for war, call your warriors, gather your soldiers and march. Skipping down to verse 12, just wanted you to get the context of the end of day's war. And it says in verse 12, The nations must get ready and come to the valley of judgment. There I, the Lord, will sit to judge all the wicked nations. They are very wicked. Cut them down like grain at harvest time. And that is the key verse here. Remembering that the Lord said to me that I was to use Joel. So Joel chapter 3 verse 13, 
They are very wicked, cut them down like grain at harvest time. And what did the Lord say to me? Okay, so what the Lord said to me was that um, within the Congress we have the big grains making them begin to leave. And God is awaiting the hedge trimmers. And doesn't that make it? Doesn't that sound so much like what we've just read where God said that he was going to cut them down. The grains were going to be cut down. And I know I'm showing you wheat heads here and in scripture we often think, sorry, oh, sorry about that. Um, we often think about the wheat being the harvest of um, the souls, the believers, um, and the tears are those that are the unbelievers. So, um, I'm just using this as um, a reference so that you can understand the grains. Perhaps I should have used a different grain, but I hope you understand. Okay, and finally, just one other vision from just a few days ago. I saw a leader in front of a podium. The leader had dark skin. Um, I didn't recognize the person or I wasn't shown who it was. Uh, the setting of the vision was the man at the podium and underneath him, I knew he was speaking but I didn't hear his words, underneath him was like a, um, a text panel with the words scrolling, um, at, um, scrolling along so that um, perhaps those that were deaf could hear the words he spoke. But once again, the Lord didn't show me who, what the words were, I didn't get to hear that. The other interest, interesting thing was that I saw a gold coin just above the um, words. And brothers and sisters, this is just my thoughts about this video, but uh, vision. But I just felt that perhaps this um, was an indication that this leader was being paid to speak the words set by others in leadership. That possibly those words weren't his own. He was being paid out for that speech. Brothers and sisters, I could be wrong about this, um, but that's the only thing I can think of that this um, vision might mean. But I am open to you um, with your comments. I'd love to hear if you feel the Lord has given you some insight on this. Oh, and just one other thing after that vision. Um, I saw items on a shelf being shaken, so I felt that the Lord was possibly saying that once again he was going to take action and um, these things would be shaken. He wasn't just going to leave um, these wrongs unattended. And I know everyone that I just say I'm just about to finish, but <laughs> the Lord's just reminded me about one other um, figure and I received this vision uh, just yesterday. Um, and um, this relates once again to an old um, video and it was entitled uh, Key Players, I think, in the Battle to Come. It was one of those videos. There were three of them. And uh, you will probably see uh, chess pieces um, on the thumbnail. And one of the characters that I introduced there was called the Cosmo Horn. And the Lord showed me a man with two horns I believe possibly he is one of the beast characters um, and in on the 23rd just yesterday the Lord showed me this leader pinned down by the hand of the Lord and this leader was struggling. I am still not sure who this person is um, but all will become clear as time goes on but once again just an indication that although um, the leaders of government um, threaten to, well, not just threaten, they are um, introducing this new world order, a global um, governance, and um, it can create fear in believers. But once again, over and over, the Lord is saying, I've got this. I've got the hook in the jaw of Putin. I have got this Cosmo horn um, struggling under my hand. Um, the Lord has it all in his hands, brothers and sisters. We can rest assured that nothing is going to happen um, that is not allowed by the Lord's hand. So um, although these times are troubling, we have great hope knowing 
that the almighty God is in control. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for staying with me if you've managed to get through this entire video. It's fascinating, isn't it, what the Lord is doing. And that scripture is coming to pass with that Ezekiel um, scripture. How exciting that soon uh, the hook of the Lord will begin to happen. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. See you real soon.